I'm Lou Chase and I was born and raised right here in America's Georgia. Uh, went to high school here and then as a freshman started here at Georgia Southwestern in 1982. Uh, they were had uh, the slow pitch softball team at that particular time and I came on board to uh, play softball and to get my education. I came back to Georgia Southwestern 91, completed my master's and I would have come back and finished my six-year degree had they offered it in administration at that particular time. They didn't have the program. So anyhow, I've been in America, like I said, all my life. Gradual, uh, worked up in Sly County school systems and I recently retired uh, from the school system two years ago. Uh, back in, I guess it was July of 2010, I was asked to join the foundation. So at that particular time, I signed up and I became a member of Georgia Southwestern Foundation. And since then, I've been on the executive board. And uh, now starting in July, I will be vice president of uh, the foundation. So that's kind of, I've been in the community all my life. So that's my connection here at Georgia Southwestern. Basically, through the foundation efforts, it was brought to us as a fundraising. I was asked to sit on the uh, steering committee of it. And uh, we just wanted to have a push in our athletic program. You know, uh, it's, we've made a commitment now to really work on uh, the women's softball, men's baseball, and men and women's basketball to really to try to uh, get them up to full scholarships, the maximum that will be allowed. And we just want to have a winning, successful uh, program uh, sports-wise. Now, trust me, I'll never advocate athletics over academics because Georgia Southwestern, you know, that's where I got my education and that's what, you know, as where I am today, if I, you know, <laughs> without having that. So, uh, but we, we want there to be pride in the community. Uh, we want to uh, increase enrollment. We need to increase our scholarships. We're working on the uh, capital uh, project of the batting, indoor batting facilities and the uh, uh, weather and for uh, and climate weather for the soccer teams, you know, to go. So anyway, I mean, look where we're sitting here today, this beautiful, you know, student success center that provides lots of opportunities for our basketball team as well. It hosts convocations, graduations, the community is open up for community events. So anyway, we can increase our facilities and get more students on campus and, you know, just, just, just to promote our athletic program.